Is AI a threat? We will look back to this as the start of a historic event in mankind's history. Do you think society is prepared for what's coming? You know, there are two ways I think about it. On one hand, uh, I feel no, uh, because you know the pace at which we can think and adapt as societal institutions compared to the pace at which the technology is evolving, there seems to be a mismatch. On the other hand, compared to any other technology, I've seen more people worried about it earlier in its life cycle. So I feel optimistic the number of people you know, who have started worrying about the implications, and hence the conversations are starting in a serious way as well. How worried should we be about artificial intelligence actually taking control? We should be very worried because what we need to understand about AI, artificial intelligence, it is the first tool that can make decisions by itself. All previous inventions in human history always empowered us. They always gave us more power because the decisions were always made by humans. If you invent a knife, the knife cannot decide whether to use it to cut salad or to murder somebody or to save their life in surgery. If you invent an atom bomb, similarly, the atom bomb cannot decide who to attack and when and where. AI is the first technology that can actually make decisions by itself. It can make decisions about its own usage and development. Nukes cannot make better nukes, but AI can make better an eye. And also, AI can make and does make decisions about us. Increasingly, when you apply to a bank to get a loan, you apply to, a, 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 to get a job, it's an AI making crucial decisions about your life. And we haven't seen anything yet. AI is just making its first tiny baby steps. Yeah. The, the, the smartest creatures, as far as we know, on this earth are humans. Now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. It's called the singularity. It's, you know, it's a singularity like a black hole. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. It is non-trivial. It has the potential of a civilizational destruction. There's movies like Terminator, but I, it wouldn't quite happen like Terminator um, because the, the intelligence would be in the data centers. Right. Uh, the robot's just the end effector. But I think perhaps uh, what you may be alluding to here is that um, regulations are really only put into effect after something terrible has happened. That's correct. If that's the case for AI, and we only put in regulations after something terrible has happened, it may be too late to actually put the regulations in place. The AI may be in control at that point. This is going to impact every product across every company, and, and so that's why I think it's a, a very, very profound technology, and so we are just in early days. Every product in every company. That's right. AI will impact everything. So for example, you could be a radiologist. You know, if, I, if, I, if you think about five to 10 years from now, you're gonna have an AI collaborator with you. It may triage, you come in the morning, you, let's say you have 100 things to go through. It may say these are the most serious cases you need to look at first. Or when you're looking at something, it may pop up and say you may have missed something important. Why wouldn't we, you know, why wouldn't we take advantage of a super-powered assistant to help you across everything you do. But this AI intelligence is going to get in the hands of some pretty bad people, or some pretty dodgy Absolutely. regimes. And they're not going to have any qualms about trying to get the edge over the West or America or wherever it may be. That's where I see the real danger, is that, you know, a bit like nuclear weapons getting into rogue states' hands, is that once the yep. wrong people have control of this, then all hell could break loose. In the hands of the wrong people, AI could be the end of democracy. AI could also be the basis for the worst totalitarian regimes in human history. Because, you know, dictators always dreamt about following everybody and monitoring everybody all the time, but they could never do it. Because, you know, even the Soviet Union, you have 200 million Soviet citizens. Stalin didn't have 200 million KGB officers to follow everybody around all the time and then to analyze all, you need millions of analysts to analyze all the data you, you collect. What you, we know about technology, that you know, you can use the same technology to build completely different societies. In the 20th century, 
Some people used uh, uh, trains and radio and electricity to build totalitarian regimes like the Soviet Union. And other people used exactly the same technology to build liberal democracies. Mm. It's the same with AI and with the technologies of the 21st century. We still have a choice about how to employ them. I think that AI is nowhere near its full potential, yeah. but also human beings are nowhere near our full, full potential. We don't really understand the full potential of our brains, of our minds. If we invest, for, if for every dollar and every uh, minute that we invest in developing AI, will invest another dollar and minute in developing our own mind and our own consciousness, I think we'll be okay. Fascinating. Uh, you know, in effect, Microsoft uh, has a very strong say, if not um, directly controls uh, OpenAI at this point. Um, so you really have an OpenAI and Microsoft situation, and then at Google DeepMind uh, are the other two sort of heavyweights in this arena. So I, 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 I think I will create a third option, um, although I'm starting very late in the game. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start something which I know you call Truth GBT or uh, a maximum truth-seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. And I think this, this might be the best path to safety in the sense that uh, an AI that cares about understanding the universe uh, it is unlikely to annihilate humans because we are an interesting part of the universe. Thank you, and please support the channel.